If you think these guys are getting dressed to, I don't know, go explore an unknown planet that could potentially be home to giant, vicious, peculiar and terrifying creatures, well, you'd be wrong. Trust me, I asked. They're actually gearing up to take on something much smaller and much less scary. Although they can give you a nasty sting, hence the suits. Yep, I'm talking about bees. There's a real buzz happening here in Richmond, Tasmania, which is home to a junior beekeeping club. That's a bit unusual. In fact, these guys think they may be the only junior beekeeping club in Australia. And as you can imagine, they're here to learn everything bee related. We like to teach the children virtually from the life cycle of the bee right through to the pollination and then on to honey um, and also the steps, all the steps in between. There's things like bee safety, how to open the hive, That's a lot of collecting the frames, wow, what do you see, guys? Lots oh. of honey. and how to extract that sweet, sweet, sticky honey. Along the way, they learn some pretty cool bee facts, like how they communicate. I love that they can all hear each other, even though if they're not ne near each other, they can still hear each other by just doing like a dance. And how they make that yummy, sticky stuff. To make it, they actually eat, they eat the pollen and throw it up, and then another bee eats it and throws it up and moves it up through the hive, so they all work together to make it. Wait a second. Honey is just bee vomit? Ugh, gross. But beekeeping isn't just about the honey. Bees are actually really important for another reason. You see, as bees go from plant to plant collecting nectar, they also spread pollen, which helps plants produce seeds and fruit. In fact, bees pollinate around 70 crop species, which feed around 90% of the world. So we can thank bees for all these tasty foods too. Thank you, bees. They're good for the environment and they help us stay alive. Organisers hope the program will get these guys buzzed about beekeeping because they reckon Australia needs more young bee enthusiasts to keep the honey business going strong. The average age of beekeepers in Australia is four years older than the average farmer, so we're an ageing workforce. We need lots of young people coming through to replace us eventually. Some of these young apiarists, that means beekeepers by the way, think doing this for a living would be pretty sweet. Beekeeping will always be in my future, and I'll, either as a hobby or a job. But for now, the next step for the team is raising money to fly to Slovakia in Europe, where they're hoping to become the first Aussies to take part in an international beekeeping competition. Pretty sweet, right? <laughs>